From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Open Line. Happy Monday to you, and thank you for joining us for Open Line. I'm Carrie Sharp. Great show for you tonight, one that I hope will be beneficial to you and also your health tonight. I have Dr. Manny Sethi here, an orthopedic trauma surgeon, but we're not necessarily talking about those cases. We're talking about a nonprofit that Dr. Manny has started that reaches out all over Tennessee. In fact, it's called Healthy Tennessee. First of all, welcome, Dr. Manny. Well, thank you so much, Carrie, for having me here. I really appreciate it. This is such a cool program. It's also so very needed in our state. Just quickly, in a nutshell, what is Healthy Tennessee? Sure. So, Healthy Tennessee is a nonprofit organization that we founded five years ago that does preventative health care outreach across the state. So, across the state, we do health fairs where we have doctors, nurses, healthcare providers from across Tennessee on the ground taking care of patients. And our health fairs are a little different because what you, what you get when you come is you don't just get flyers mm -hmm. and documents, you see an actual doctor, a nurse, nutritionist, people on the ground to counsel you about living a healthier lifestyle. Because I think across Tennessee, for our kids and for our future, this is a major issue that we face. It is, because the snapshot of, of Tennessee's health is not a good one. It, actually, it's pretty ugly. It's, it's really rough. Right now, we rank, carry about 45th uh, in the nation in terms of our, our health. About 30 to 40 percent of our of, uh, folks across the state are obese. Uh, we struggle with diabetes, uh, with heart disease. Now, those are things that, you know, treating them on the back end mm -hmm. uh, is very difficult. We're spending a lot of money. It's, it's, are, they're difficult problems where if we just make certain lifestyle changes on the front end, we can not only spend less on health care and spend more on, on our roads and our schools and our infrastructure, we can actually just take care of patients more effectively. And that's what Healthy Tennessee is all about. Because you are bringing the screenings, those vital screenings that can catch things early. Yes. Um, you're bringing them to the people that yes. maybe don't have access to them at all. That, ex exactly. And, you know, I think that what we are really showing on the ground across Tennessee is this is not a difficult thing to do. Very small changes in your lifestyle, uh, walking 10 to 30 minutes a day, just changing your eating habits slightly can have major returns uh, in investment on your health. I want to mention, um, we're going to tell you where Healthy Tennessee is going next, the, the health fair is coming up, so you may want to grab a pen and paper uh, so you can jot down that information. But if people were to go to a Healthy Tennessee fair, what kind of screenings are there? There. Sure. So we have uh, recently had uh, we had a um, a fair right here um, on Jefferson Street. Very recently, we had a fair recently in Memphis. And what you find when you uh, walk into our uh, fairs, you get screened for blood pressure. Your uh, we examine your heart. Uh, we examine your BMI, your weight, your height. Uh, we have we check your your blood glucose, meaning how much sugar is in your blood. We check your urine. Is there is there protein, which there shouldn't be? Uh, we have a mammogram screenings. We have uh, uh, eye exams. So we have the everything that you can do in a clinic or a or a hospital to some degree. We can do uh, in our fairs. But again, our fairs are targeted around really counseling people on how to get healthier. So. You don't just come and get your BMI, which is your weight and your height, and it should be at a certain level. Mm -hmm. We look at that, we look at your blood pressure, we look at uh, what's going on in the whole picture, and then we counsel patients. Because you know, as a, as a doctor, I think that people will make the right decisions, and that light bulb will go on in their head to change only when they understand what's going on. Right, yeah. And that is what we are all about as an organization, is about educating folks. And I believe that in communities across Tennessee, if we do this person by person, we can make a lasting difference. And, and the goal is to reach people across the state who necessarily don't have the, the access to health care that they need, either because they don't have insurance, or if they do have insurance, the doctors just aren't set up in their community, which is a very big problem. You know, Carrie, that's uh, th that's exactly right. Recently, we were in uh, rural Appalachia in uh, Hawkins County, and it was just incredible to see the patients that we saw, and they just really struggled with finding a good primary care mm -hmm. doctor and access to care. And so, 
I just felt very blessed uh, to to be there and to, to help those folks. And again, we could not really do what we do without the support of uh, of the community. Take for example. Uh, folks like Shane Reeves, who is, uh, he is a, a, a business owner and runs 12 Stone, uh, and Shane, uh, 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 Reeves Sane. He supported us and came out to help us in Smyrna very recently to have a health fair where we took care of our men and women in uniform. Wow. And, you know, it's, it's folks like him uh, and folks like doctors and nurses and other health care providers on the ground, we could not do what we do without them. That's amazing. And when you think about, you know, the eye test, it goes beyond is your vision blurry or you know, do you need glasses? These can, those tests can be very um, give you results that are indicative of much bigger problems. Absolutely. Tell me about that. So, you know, for example, with your your vision. Mm -hmm. So at our our, our fairs, we have um, a diabetic uh, retinopathy screen, which is a fancy term for evaluating patients with diabetes and looking into their eyes. Because if you don't take care of your diabetes in the long term, it really affects your vision. So that's, for example, one way that we educate patients. We, we have that ability to screen them and educate them, look, this is a problem. But even on a bigger level, uh, for example, uh, we have the ability to screen uh, diabetic patients in terms of their how, how high their sugar has been in their blood over a long period of time, mm. something called the hemoglobin A1C. And we're able to sort of counsel them right there on the spot and educate them about their behavior and why it's a, a problem or if what they're doing is, is good. We have, for example, nutrition counselors on the ground. And so we're able to take some of that data and, and in real time, uh, help patients make better choices and educate them. So you're not saying, okay, we got the blood test, we'll, um, we'll let you know and look for something in no. the mail in a couple of weeks. Oh, no, no, no. We, that, and that's what we're all about. We are all about education right there on the spot. Because, you know, for so long, I think, uh, folks in, you know, the politicians and the policymakers, mm -hmm. they just uh, say that, you know, people are irresponsible and they won't make the right decisions or choices. And I believe that uh, I, I'm an internal optimist, and I believe that people will always make the right choice when they are educated, when they have the information at their fingertips, and that's what we're all about. Are you seeing that light bulb go off at these fairs? So I know you go to them. Oh, I'm, I'm at every one. You know, recently um, we had a fair where someone didn't understand calorie counting. So, for example, I talked to them about their diet, and we... I just explained, do you know how many calories are in a Big Mac? Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they, they didn't know. And I said, well, you know, there's about 1,000. And what, what do you think is your average calorie intake over a day? What do you think it should be? Well, it should be around 2,500, 2,000. They didn't know that. When I told them that half of their, you know, the calories that they're consuming is a, is a Big Mac, you know, the, the light, I can see the light bulb turn on. So you see the active change. But we've also seen very powerful stories, you know, because you could have a thousand people mm -hmm. come to these fairs, and if you change one person's life, to me, it's it's a it's a win. We had a patient uh, about four years ago. We had a fair in a local school here, uh, and we picked up a uh, a tumor in their eye. Wow! And Dr. Ming Wang, who's been a big supporter of ours. Uh, and sends his teams to our fairs across Tennessee, their team actually picked it up and we were able to get him to Dr. Wang and he took care of him. So it's stories like that that really, uh, really keep me going and, and keep me doing this. Without a doubt, that is a great story. Okay, we're gonna be telling these stories, telling you more about Healthy Tennessee and how you can take part in these vital screenings throughout the next hour. So stay with us. Much more coming right after this.